All right, hey there, everybody. I'm back, and I'm going to teach you something real cool today. Um, this is called electrolysis, and we'll be electrolyzing water. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be separating hydrogen, and H2O, into its two ordinary elements, also known as hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. Now, we're going to be doing this through electricity, running through the water, separating the bonds. Okay, now you're going to need a few simple materials. Um, you're going to need water, of course, and a glass to put it in. I have a normal glass of water right here. Um, you need a battery or any other power source. Um, I use a 9-volt battery. Um, you can use a higher power source, but unless you're extremely experienced with electricity, I don't recommend it. Um... You're going to need an adapter for your 9 volt battery. It's got the leads for the 9 volt battery on it. That way it connects. Two alligator clips. I got black and red ones right here. And two graphite electrodes. Now, you can get this from ordinary pencil lead, mechanical pencil lead, a normal pencil. Um, these are much, you can use nail, uh, iron nails if you want. Um, but I don't recommend those because you're going to pretty much make iron oxide and that's going to pollute your water with red stuff, which is rust in your water. And you don't want that. Okay, well, I'm going to pause the video, set it up, and I'm going to show you the setup, and uh, we'll start the process. Okay, everybody, I'm back and I've set this up. Okay, now I'm going to show you how we set it up. Okay, what I got here is a 9 volt battery, as you can see, and I attached the adapter to it. You see? Um, then I attached my alligator clips to the leads. I attached the red alligator clip to the red wire and the black one to the black wire. Now, you don't have to do this. I really don't give a damn what you do, but it's just more organized this way. Um, and I attached the graphite rods or our pencil lead onto the alligator clips. Now, the negative electrode is going to be the one that's going to make our hydrogen gas. That's why I have a bigger pencil lead on there. And this one's going to make our oxygen, so not as big of a pencil lead. This one's about a couple centimeters larger. No biggie. Um, you can do whatever you want. I just prefer it because it's easier to use. And now what you're going to do is you're going to be putting these in here, watch carefully, put these in the water, and don't let the electrodes touch, otherwise you won't get any gases at all. Now I'm going to pause the video and zoom in on our bubbles that are forming. Okay everybody, we're back, and as you can see we got bubbles forming on both of our electrodes the negative one more than the positive. Um, as you can see, there's more hydrogen gas onto the negative electrode than there is on the po than there is oxygen gas on the positive. That's because there's two hydrogens in water for every one oxygen. Um, so, I think this is a pretty cool process. I don't know about you guys. Um, that we can simply create these gases in our own backyard or house. Um, now I'm going to give you some things that will make this process a little bit quicker if you're trying to collect them. Um, you can use sodium chloride to speed up the process, also known as table salt, um, but not very highly suggested because you're going to be creating chlorine gas on the positive electrode, but you're still going to be making hydrogen. Um, also you're going to be making sodium hydroxide which is a extremely strong base so not recommended now what you could do for a substitute of sodium chloride is put in baking soda now it's gonna not create chlorine gas because there is no chlorine and sodium bicarbonate um, you'll pretty much just get oxygen and hydrogen um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to make more soon. And, enjoy this experiment.